Welcome back to the shenanigans. As you guys can see, everything it's uh, well put together. Most of the things you guys see, they are not direct boltons. A lot of these arrow, we have to modify, customize, cut, trim, use all kind of fancy bolts to make it work. I'm installing the strut bars right now onto the splitter. Everything else is ready to go and bolt on. So we're taking our time in this install because we're trying to decide how we want the car to look as we go. And also, almost everything in this car is not over the shelf. It's not things that you can buy. Everything is custom made and we're trying to find a way to put all these custom parts together by all different types of assortments of hardware that we have which is limited right here because most of it is on the other shop. So we're just working with what we have and we're just really getting creative to get this done. We've been here for a, a couple hours but we're getting really close to being done. As you can see the canards are on the side. I don't know what this is called but I guess the side winglet, tire diffuser. We already cut the grill for the tow hook to go through it. I think the rods is the last piece of the puzzle, so we get in there. We're gonna take some measurements and we're gonna get it done. All right, so first we gotta hold these on in place and we're gonna draw a little circle around the blue tape so we know exactly where to cut. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And we have now we have it and now we're gonna start drilling. I'm scared, Georgie. But this looks like the middle. What's your finger? So we're in the middle now. Looks like the middle to me. And now we're gonna start cutting. Not cutting, drilling. You want to put some pressure on it so it penetrates. He got done with that side. That one's tight. That one's a little bit loose now. Now that we got the final measurements, it's time to make it tight with some Loctite as well. Let's see, how you feeling, bro? I feel like I want to be done with the install already. It's done. It's been quite a challenge, but thanks to the power of friendship and brotherhood, we got it done. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm ready to take a shower and go to sleep. But we got it done. Looks pretty sick. Can't wait to put it on the car. And it's gonna look pretty much like a track car. I hope so. I hope so. Functional and beautiful. Right, let's get this shit in the car. All right, the bumper's on. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty and spicy. We're putting the tow hook on now, making some final adjustments so it sits nice and perfectly how a tow is supposed to look. Look, look at the clearance right here. Perfect fit right here. Look so, how much clearance it is. It was like, it was meant to be. <laughs> this is perfect. Can you turn it one more time? Yeah, this is perfect fit right there. Look at this. <laughs> Damn, bro. It's like barely kissing it. It's meant to be, bro. He had the great idea of putting this thing sideways. Should we put this facing up or one turn back and run the nut in? The tow hook's looking pretty, pretty good. And Joel doing the final adjustments. Damn, it looks so fucking sexy, bro. Shelby GT500. Look, look at that GT500, bro. God damn. God damn, boy. We did it. We did it, sir. Teamwork, baby. There's some high end custom stuff right here. Everything we have to customize, we have to drill new holes take new measurements for everything to fit how it's supposed to fit and look and now it just looks fantastic i'm in love with it once again i've been wanting to do this for a long time and now thanks to my brother angel we got it done it took us only 30 minutes <laughs> talking so so low because it's so early yeah, yeah. it's just a touch <laughs> so crispy mate yeah, yeah. all right we're pretty much done we just put in the car on the jack stands one more time so we can start adjusting the liner twerking torquing the liner what's your reaction bro look really happy right now it's done obviously it's a little bit dirty it needs to be a wash but the final look that i've been wanting to get for the longest time it's it's here man i can't believe it it's, I don't know, I'm speechless, man. We'll have to see it tomorrow once the car is clean and once we can react with a little bit more excitement and we're not so tired, but... And not talking too quiet, because you know, the neighbors might get mad. We, we want to be respectful. Look at this, man. It's just, it's crazy. 
This is some aggressive stuff right here. Well, the viewers are gonna have to see it tomorrow because they, you need some daylight to appreciate this. And this camera is really good at picking it up at night, but tomorrow in daylight, it's gonna look a whole lot better. It's gonna be it's for right now because it's really dark and everybody's sleeping. But tomorrow we will show you the outcome once the car is clean. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Today we got the cars all cleaned up. Now I'm just putting the final touches on the wheels. So this is the final product. I'm really happy of the outcome. Everything came out, it looks pretty clean. It did take us a long time, because it's one of one. We had to do a little bit of, some tiny adjustments to make it fit everything how we want it. We had to drill new holes, get fancy with it. Thanks to my brother for helping me make this happen. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and now it's here, and I can't believe it's here. And I don't want to hear no, you should have got a GT500 bumper. now, bro. It looks even better than the GT500. I just can't stop looking at it. It's so delightful. It's a beautiful car, and I can't believe it's mine. The front end is extremely aggressive. It was definitely worth the time, and it, it needed something in the front. It's been a little empty for a while, but it looks completed now. We just need a, a blower sticking out of the hood, like a 70s car. It feels just like when I bought it. I feel like I fell in love with it again. It's just a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling when you modify your car the way you want it. You don't want to be like the rest. You don't want to buy the same bump front bumper. I haven't seen a car with a setup like this. So yeah, one on one. I'm just really, really happy and excited to see how it's going to handle with this new equipment. It was worth it. Till next time, my glizzy goblins.